are not going on holidays, okay? Hey, I just got news I'm going on a research cruise in June. Oh, a cruise again? Look at a little of this, huh? A research cruise again, she says. <laughs> oh, poor you. I Look, <laughs> she's going to a cruise again. Guys, I, I'm not going on holidays, it's for research. It's it's actually really intensive work. Oh yeah, oh poor you. Uh, you're gonna work, oh, I bet you're gonna work for your tan. <laughs> yes. Right, right. Guys, research she says, I bet you she does research. <laughs> oh wait, 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 look at me, look at me, look at me working on my tan. I quit. Bye. Uh, yeah, my friends are not really like that. However, for the purpose of this video, I thought I would overreact a bit. Drama! I do get a lot of the reaction of, Oh, you're going on a research cruise. Yeah, oh, poor you. You have to work so much. Oh, I have to do a statement before I go further. I am not complaining at all about my field work and about my work because it is kind of awesome. However, it is not equal to holidays. Actually, I would say it's the exact opposite. I do know that it is quite a mystery for most people what it is that scientists do when we go to places, like when we say we go on fieldwork. First things first, there are a lot of different types of fieldwork. Fieldwork can be anything from going just to the beach to collect some sand, or to go on a cruise for a couple of weeks or months, or going to the coral reefs to dive to collect corals or any other kind of sample. So there's a big variety of what kind of field work you can do. Let me just tell you why we have to go in f on field work in the first place. Us scientists, we study things of the planet or well sometimes outside the planet, it doesn't matter. Let's say earth scientists, we study things on the planet and uh, sometimes the things we study are not exactly on the city or living just next to where we are working. In my case, for instance, I study marine biology and I live in a country, Austria, which is landlocked, which means it has no ocean. <laughs> Sniff. Don't get me wrong, I love Austria. Ich liebe Österreich. <laughs> so if I want to collect samples or a study material for my work, for my PhD, I have to go somewhere where there's ocean. I generally go to Croatia because it's kind of close to here and there is an institute in Hovin with which my institute has a cooperation with, so it's kind of cool for us to go there. So I go there to collect plastics because I work with plastic pollution in the ocean, so I can go just with a little boat go do -do -do -do, a little bit outside of the, the harbor and then collect the surface the plastics that are on the surface. However, I am kind of an outlier of my working group because my working group works with the deep ocean, the mysterious dark blueness. Of course, the, to go and have access to the deep ocean, you have to go to the open ocean. And the only way of doing that is going on a cruise. It's not a mwah. <laughs> Magnifique, uh, luxurious cruise. No, no, no. It is a research cruise. And I say this with this research cruise tone because it is not the same as a luxurious cruise where you have a pool, supermarkets, casinos, spa. Na, 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 na. In a research cruise, I'm not saying that research cruises are like the worst thing ever. They are generally well equipped. You have rooms and bathrooms and you have a kitchen and a cook and you always have meals you're not starving to death, you're there to work. So anything that is extra work generally does not really exist on these cruises. Actually, last year I was on a cruise where this is not entirely true. There were quite some cool things on board. However, it's not the general case. This to say that when we go on field work, be it cruises or just going to an island to study coral reefs or whatever it is, we generally tend to work much, much more than if we would stay here or in wherever it is that the other people are working. The reason for this is generally when you go to these places, you have a limited amount of time that you're there and you want to make the best out of it. You want to collect as many samples as possible and you want to make as many analyses as possible. Additionally, it is not only that we spend more time working, it's also generally a more exhausting work. For instance, diving. Diving is a very physically demanding activity and actually and generally in most 
field work you do, there's always a certain amount of physical activity involved. Either it's because you are trying to balance yourself on the ship and running with like thousands of boxes and then there's water everywhere and then you have to balance or because, I don't know, you are diving or because you are snorkeling or because maybe some other thing I can't remember right now. But you generally have more physical activity when you go on field work than you do when you are in the lab or in your office just sitting down writing or doing something with your hands. This idea that scientists go on these uh, vessels or that we go on field work to just relax and have mojitos at the beach, no. So once again, I am not here complaining about my work. I absolutely love my work. It is a lot of work. We are not going on to these places on holidays. However, it is an adventure and it is always something different and it's always something I really look forward to. I'm always learning and uh, it is a great, great experience. The take home messages, even though it's a great and amazing experience, it is also a lot of hard work. Actually, given this, um, I have to say and um, two announcements. I am going on a research cruise in July. Yay! Not on holidays, uh-uh, to work. No, the reason I did this video is not so that you think I'm a hardworking person and not going on holidays all the time. I am going on a research cruise in July for, I am not totally sure, but I think 10 to 12 days. It's a Spanish cruise. The track is off Vigo, a bit into the Atlantic and back. Actually, instead of just telling you how much hard work it actually is to be on a cruise in July, I can actually show it to you. And uh, yeah, this is was number one, announcement number one. Announcement number two. Tomorrow, by the time you're watching this, it's probably today or the day after, so not tomorrow anymore, but for me it's tomorrow. I am going to Rovin, to Croatia, which place I normally go to sample, to teach. And I am so excited because it's the first time I am teaching a course. The course is called, I'm not sure the, what is the entire name, but it's about it's a practical course in plastic pollution in the ocean. I'm going with Teresa again, my master student and my supervisor. Mom. I will try to upload a couple of videos showing you what we actually do there and showing the magnificent uh, Rovin place in Croatia. Whew. I'm even getting out of breath here. I speak way too fast, don't I? Jesus Christ. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel this, the fastness of my speech. Ocean people, thank you so much for watching this video. Yeah, so if you like this video, don't forget to like it. Any one of you guys, if you want to see more videos, you just need to press the subscribe button below. And of course, leave all the suggestions, comments and questions on the comment section below. See you guys and thanks again for watching. Ciao, ciao.